Hey guys, old car guy here. In about five minutes or less, I'm gonna show you how to remove the radio out of your 09 to 14 Ford F-150. Let's get started. So this whole piece comes out as one. Down here in the bottom, you're gonna pull off your little auxiliary plug-in. Uh, that's just snapped into place. You've got a seven millimeter bolt holding it in there and you unplug uh, the auxiliary from the unit. And then up top here, there's a piece of rubber. You're gonna remove that rubber. There's two more seven millimeters there. Once those are out, you've got to pry with your upholstery tool, these two vents off to the side here like so, and this one over here like so, because the radio is kind of hooked in uh, to those. So once you've get this far, you should be able to pull this radio out and disconnect everything. So now that you've got that out of the way, there's five plugins that you had to unplug and you've got four more seven millimeter bolts holding the CD player in, which is actually where all your radio is controlled. Four seven millimeters, pull that right out. So once you get that out of the way, you've got the, uh, you got your two plugins here, you've got your radio antenna and your satellite radio. Then you've got to get this little bezel out up top here. There's two screws in the bottom and one behind each vent. You got to get those out. And in my case, this radio display will be staying put because the new radio covers it up. Now the new radio I have, like I said before, is gonna be this big screen from Cicane. And if you guys want one of these, there's gonna be a link in the description box down below where you can get 7% off if you order one of these yourself. Uh, go to that link and uh, you can order one of these for your vehicle if it's an F-150 or any other vehicle that they may offer a radio for. So we're gonna to have to switch a few things over to the new radio, such as all of our AC and climate controls because uh, this obviously comes blank and we're just going to unscrew them from the back and move them over here and up here we've got your trash control uh, and your hazard switch this little section here gets to be relocated uh, down into here so uh, we're going to flip this over and there's four torque screws that hold this in place two on each side and then this little piece right here is just snapped in on each side and then don't forget that your cigarette lighter is just clipped in there and that'll just pop right out. So we got our Torx uh, screws out of there and uh, this piece should just pop out of place and uh, basically slide right back into the uh, new setup. We'll get that screwed down. Then we can start plugging in some of our wires. All right guys, so there is the finished product. We've got our new Cicane Apple CarPlay Android Auto big screen in this 2011 F-150 and it looks great. So the reverse process that we just showed you how to take everything apart goes back in. You just gotta make sure that this piece goes in first and you gotta remove these pressure clips. There's six of them, one, two, three on each side and put them on the new radio so that it snaps into place. Once you get the radio in place, then these two pieces here clip back in. There are no screws except for the one down in here behind your auxiliary. Other than that, everything goes back together you're good to go. So I hope this video was helpful. Like I said, five minutes or less, pretty simple process to replace the radio, the factory radio in an 09 to 14 Ford F-150. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed if you want to see some great content on installing things like this. We've got lots of Panther platform content. We've got this old 62 International that we're fixing up. This old 50 Plymouth and not to mention square bodies, Chrysler B bodies, as well as a Yugo. Yeah, that's right, we're doing an engine swap on a Yugo. So please consider subscribing. Lots of great automotive content. Guys, stay focused on the windshield, not the rear of your mirror. Love you, God bless. Let's do it again in the next video.